XT4. What a great set from the legendary breakout wave of Hero Factory. Let's talk about why this set is awesome, and I'll also show you some ways that you can use the pieces that come in this set in your own LEGO creations. And while we're at it, let's take a look at some stellar revamps of this character. There's some awesome creations coming your way soon, so let's dive right on in and check them out. You know, when this set first came out, I honestly was not a fan. I hated it. I thought all these unarmored limbs just looked kind of meh. I thought he just looked unfinished, you know? It was a lazy design from Lego. But I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I was a kid. XT4 having unarmored limbs makes him awesome. The skinny, spiddly aesthetic, it's terrifying. A murder death machine with four tiny limbs, each one housing some kind of weapon that will kill you. That's some scary stuff. You know, as menacing as a big, muscular, and powerful character is, the fact that XT4 is small, it means he's probably gonna run really fast, he's gonna catch up to you if you are running away, and you know, his smaller proportions make it easier for him to get in all kinds of nooks and crannies, so if you're trying to hide from this dude, this living death machine will track you down and will kill you. That's pretty creepy. Now, the breakout wave of Hero Factory, it, it gave us many incredible villain characters. Yeah, the other, like, humanoid designs, they're all fantastic builds, but they do fall into very similar territory. Nice armored designs on the typical humanoid body. Yeah, it's cool, but a bit of variance is nice too, right? And XT4's thin-limbed forearm design, the giant buzzsaw arm, the death ray, the stabby spikes, the big red mono eye, it sets him apart from the others in all the right ways. Now look, the toy can pose very, very well. The unarmored limbs mean that nothing gets in the way, and so he can assume basically any pose that you want. But mate, these black wires on the chest, they always seem to get in the way. It's a little annoying if I'm honest, but it's not the end of the world. Now I decided to see what this set would look like if he did have armor on all his different limbs. And yo, he goes from skinny kid to beefcake gym bro who's gonna start a fight with you. He looks so muscular now. And sure, this does actually look pretty cool. Maybe I was onto something when I was a bit younger, but eh, I do prefer the unarmored look a lot more. So yeah, this design is everything that I want out of a Hero Factory villain. Sinister, creepy, a unique design, and more importantly, personality. XT4 certainly isn't just some bland, boring dude. No, 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 no. He's something out of your deepest nightmares. But as good as this set is, what if we wanted to use the pieces that came in this set in our own unique LEGO creations? Well, thankfully XT4 has lots of awesome pieces, like this huge amount of light bluish grey CCBS bone pieces. You get a heap of them. Now obviously this piece is super common in black and dark bluish grey, but getting so many in light bluish grey, well that's a joy. Patrick Biggs has used some of them here in light bluish grey on his mock of Kopaka. Now, of course, Kopaka Mata has a very specific color scheme of gray joints and then white hands, feet, a white torso, and a white face. So if you want to replicate that color scheme, you're obviously going to need some of these pieces, especially if you want to use more modern LEGO elements. And we can see that Patrick has done exactly that, and how good does it look? The color change of these pieces is so helpful. Now sure, the grey joints are pretty good, but you also do get a few black ones as well. Anthony Wilson has used some here on his mock. Now these tentacles, they most likely use these Hero Factory joints, and then you just wrap some ties around them, and as a result you get a very poseable, but very lovely looking tentacle design. Additionally, you also get this rather lovely and unique CCBS bone armor piece. It's a really fun part, and one way you could use it is like Lewis Hammond did here on his Toxic Reaper revamp. Now first off, Toxic Reaper here looks fantastic. Lewis did a great job with building it. But when we remove all this armor, it looks even better. We can see that that unique piece allows for some really nice armor to be placed on the front, and it also gives Toxic Reaper this nice hunched neck design. This piece is super helpful for building really cool looking frames. XT4 also includes two of these blade pieces. Red vs. Mark here uses them for a really fun dagger design. Seeing them as handheld weapons, as well as weapons like stowed on her legs, uh, that's a genius move. This is such a helpful piece to use for weapons, although, you know, it was designed to be a weapon, so that kind of makes sense, right? You also get two of these hose pieces, much like this one here. Uh, Benjamin Anderson has used a bunch of them here on his brilliant villain mark. Using these specific wire pieces and a whole bunch of other different ropes and wires, it creates a very nice and very distinct aesthetic. So if you've got some of these pieces lying around, maybe you could do something like this. XT4's headpiece, it's a rather unique part. And Dylan Meaves has used it here on his fun little table scrap. You're flipping it upside down like this, it does work well for a really funky and out there head design. But if you want to use a bunch of them, Mitch Henry has done exactly that. The way he's layered them on each of the different sections of these arms, it creates a very nice pattern. It's nice to know that this is a surprisingly helpful piece. 
despite how, like, specific it is. Given that it was made purely for his head design, it makes sense that it might be harder to use, but that's apparently not the case. You also get four of these small yellow CCBS shells on X-T4, and Joxon has used some of them here on his mock for some nice crotch armour, but he's also used them in the larger sizes for just general armour. Yeah, having a larger supply of any type of CCBS shell is always going to be helpful, because you can use them for so many different things. So getting four of them here? Beauty. So that's a few different ways that you could use the pieces that come in this set, but if you wanted to revamp X-T4, well you could do something a little bit like what Dylan Neves has done here. This mock captures one of the best qualities of X-T4, the fact that he is a crazy and wacky character. And you know the fact that Dylan has now given him four spinning buzz saws. That just fits right at home on this character. And also the addition of lots of like caution stripes. I really like that. Stickered and printed pieces like this, they work really, really nicely here. Also, by the way, these buzz saws have a cool, like, spinning motion uh, sort of, like, play feature to them. I adore that. Unfortunately, I can't get you a video of them because Flickr wouldn't let me download that video. So be sure to check the links in the description below and you can find that yourself and have a great time watching that. But this revamp of X-T4, oh, it's something really, really special. It's built by Frenes J, and what I think is so great about this mock is that we've got a cool revamp of X-T4, and you know, he looks very similar to his former self, and some of these new weapon attachments on the arms, they're easily the best part. They look really cool. But then we see this cool revamp inside this towering mech suit. I love how he's just suspended in the center of this interesting leg walker. Plus the way these huge legs pose and move, especially here where they form this interesting like strong shielded wall almost. To me this illustrates like the character of X-T4 a little bit. He's this, you know, small defenseless dude who can't really take much of a hit in battle. So he builds this very like defense focused mech suit to you know, combat his enemies and give him a bit of a fighting chance. But what he makes up for in like, you know, physical strength and size, he's got it all up there in brains. So he's built something that's like really freaking hard to defeat now because it's so defensive. You just can't land a blow. Nothing works against it. That's awesome, right? Something else that's awesome are all these numbers on the legs. That was a really nice addition. You didn't really have to put it in, but the fact you did, that makes it cool. Honestly, this is such an original take on X-T4, but it still feels right at home with the original set and the original character. And that's just great. So yeah, mate, X-T4 is a Baller set. Brilliant parts, a great little build, and many different ways that you can revamp them into something so cool. Like I said, check the links in the description below and see more from these builders. They built some really good stuff like you saw here. You might as well go see the other things that they've built too. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration. Thank you and good night.